Hey there, and welcome back to the Train of Thought, an educational monster train series where we fight the divinity in every run. I was going to record another episode before I recorded this one. There's like an hour gap between when I recorded yesterday's Cursed Seed and now, and I was so down to just do that recording, but I got distracted because I was talking to a friend of mine who just finished running their... Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus campaign in D&D, and I'm going to avoid spoilers in case people don't want to know and whatever, but we were just talking about the finale and how absolutely buck wild it was. What? Unbelievable. The stakes are so high in that campaign, and I've definitely learned way too much about it. I feel like I, I have experienced way too many spoilers, so there's no universe I could ever really experience it myself as a player, but... That campaign sounds wild. That sounds like it sounds like a nightmare to run based on talking to this to my friend because there's just there's a lot of stuff going on and it's tough. And I think the parts bridging the gaps and like the well, there's I don't want to say it too much. There's like some vehicle parts to it that are pretty difficult to run, apparently. But for the player, it sounds outrageous. Maybe not the best choice for a new DM or something. Uh, that's uh, unbelievable. I, I was talking to him about it. And just the, the sheer number of ridiculously high challenge rating things chilling in that last combat is unreal. So I spent an hour talking to him about that because that seems dope. Anyway, finally felt like I should probably get it on this recording. So here we are back on the train of thought. We're on a 124 win streak. Our previous run was a Soul Guard run, which, you know, the start was pretty bad, admittedly. We had Implings. What else was there? Force Cold Channel. Uh, we did see a really nice Ring 2 Multi Strike Incan Armor 2 Siren of the Sea, which was excellent. We put a Steelworker inside of that and ultimately saw. A lot of really good spiraling in power relics, right? We got Founding Seal somewhere along the line, Rail Hammer. We made the stupid Sirens tiny, so I didn't even need what? I didn't need space. That's what it was. I could just avoid space altogether. So, unreal. Absolutely unreal. Uh, just a good run overall. I'm glad to see that kind of stuff. It's, it's tough because... It's got really good high roll potential in that clan combo, but if you whiff on that, that clan combo can be devastatingly rough, especially if you don't see enough armor to keep soul guard chugging. But we obviously did. We cruised. Primordium. Hell yeah, let's go. Glad to see it. This last three stretch of the champions always feels really good to me. There's, you know, it's interesting. Let me just talk for a moment about this. I, the, I'm very neutral about Prince. Sentient's not great. I feel bad about Tethys and Penumbra. So it's like neutral, bad, good. I love me the Rector and the Chief runs. Those are like very high on me. And then Queen is very strong. So it's like three strong champions back to back. And then, like, Wendleton and Soul Guard are okay. I can usually make it work not too bad. And then the last three are really good. It kind of aligns with my opinions of the champions in general. Certainly, I have more fun playing certain champions than others. But, but yeah. Primordium today, turns out. I'm going to enjoy this one. Seems good to me. So yeah, I think that's everything I've got for you. So as always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go play some Primo. It's really weird. I say Primordium usually, but Primo is a good abbreviation in text. And then sometimes you say it out loud, Primo just sounds very bizarre. It's a weird way of naming him when you're, you know, speaking the word. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well today. Here I am chilling at a casual 3.30 p.m. You'll love to see it, get some recording done. I love when I can do this on a weekend. And yeah, I'm in a good mood. I have some honey boba and a bubble tea because that's just the kind of person I am. Go ahead and hate me in the comments if you don't like that stuff. I'm a huge fan though, I love that stuff, it's great. So 
currently having a bunch of good matcha and yeah what does that tell you about me huh am i a millennial or am i a millennial anyway let's play some monster train we are <laughs> exile umbra default hellhorn double pings you know one that's an actual ping and one that's plink really good start love to see it this is also a very powerful superfood line if we see it we have Rage Talos, Rage Arcus, and Patient Seraf. Patient Seraph doesn't scare me with Umbra. Usually you can find some solution to this, be that Morsels or Damage Shield or something. We have Making of a Morsel, Hidden Passage, and Engine Upgrade. Cool, great. Uh, you know, Overflows, Hidden Passage in general, very strong, big fan. Making of a Morsel is a really good scaler. It's also very good if I'm going to be forced into any kind of Morsel line. Always love starting with something there. Then engine upgrade is just fine. I'm happy to trade one space on some floor for Ember. Yeah, good stuff. Obviously there are stronger cards here, but these are all good. There's no duds there, so that's good. Let's see. Temples on three, four, six, and eight. Good, happy to see that. You know, this actually, I think this might be my favorite. I think I've said this before. This might be my favorite temple alignment. Right? Because you have one right before Talos and right after Talos, after you've seen that unit draft. This allows you to ramp up quickly to deal with this boss in Talos. And then after Talos, you can ramp up quickly to be ready for the mid game. Right? Love to see that. Having something before Arcus is also nice. I think I could take it or leave it on the six or seven for the fourth temple, right? It doesn't really matter. Usually you're not going to need this temple on six, but it is nice to have it. And then seven is also just fine as well. But I love having a temple on eight. Some last minute ramping so you don't have to worry about buffing up random combats anymore. So there's that. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Cool. So removal dupe on eight with a steel shot. Pretty strong. Love to see that. Steel on seven. Nothing fancy, though. There's a trinket shop there that's really strong. If I can walk into seven, that trinket shop with a ton of cash, there's divine boons there too. You could do some real damage on this run by high rolling some relics here, right? That's pretty strong. I like that. Good magic shop on six. Love that. Steel shop's also there, which means that we have steals on eight, seven, and six, which is nice. Dupe on five. That's a bad one. Magic shop is better on the other side. Good steel shop on four. That's hellhorn banner, steel shop, vortex. It's an okay magic shop, right? You have an Umbra banner and money. Dupe on three is not impressive. Hellhorn banner on three with the horde is much better. Good steel shop on two with an Umbra banner, though. Hmm. If I see things that I can reasonably put holdover into, I could see myself going to the right for that Hellhorn banner magic shop. We'll be on the lookout, right? If I see a good imp, I'm probably going to the steel shop because that gives me two good hits. If I see a good holdover target on the right, I'll see I'll probably go over there. Yo, conscription notice. Shadow box is probably okay. If I go Umbra, obviously this triggers, but I don't know if I will yet. And conscription notice is not just good now, it's good later. That's huge power. I can probably take this relic here too, which is great. Aggressive edible stalwart. This is not a stalwart comp. No, we don't have a composition for it here. So we're definitely going aggressive. We're going to crush the early game with that conscription notice. Winged indulgence, faulty loader, hell's banners. If I see morsels as a line, this is strong. I'll take it. That is ember solution. We'll move on. Spikes. I'm good here. Remember, conscription notice is disgusting. Just in general, Conscription Notice is nutty. Oh, yeah. Wickless Tycoon. Incredible. He's going to do 40 damage very fast. I'd like to keep these slots open for the making of a morsel, so we'll take the Train Steward middle. I might as well get rid of that damage shield. It might matter. It, these hits don't do anything for me. He just heals it. It's fine. Cool, so here's what we're gonna do. We ascend. Yep, 
That gets a kill, which is money. I plink here for money, it turns out. I could have gotten... Ah, I could have gotten the stupid Hell's Banners proc. Could have gotten this making of a morsel. That is a misplay. It's fine. Plink. Good. Happy to see it. Here we go. Sure. Remember, Hell's Banners. I did lose some cash here, but I do want to, you know, respect a little bit. Put the train steward in front. What if I shoot it? Man, that is greedy, but we love it. <laughs> I take this just for cash. And I save the priest upstairs because I might get money out of it. Cool. Oh, yeah, we just ascend for money. I can then plink it for money. <laughs> Amazing. Cool. And we get a kill. Good stuff. Great news. Awesome. We earned a ton of cash there. Unbelievable. I'm going to click on Prismal Dust and you can't stop me. This is patient. I need to respect. This gives me a huge direction. This is also good value into an eventual superfood pivot, which might be a consideration. Otherwise, Packed Morsels would be strong here, but Prismal Dust for sure. We're going to click on Fledgling Imp. You can't stop me. With the Fledgling Imp hit, we're going left. Looking for... Well, man, I wish I could go right, but I do need to see if I can see something good here. Endless is a strong hit. I'm going to go left. Quick, Rage 7, 10. Sure, I'll take Crucible Warden. Why not? He's fine. Spin this, maybe I see a holdover. Yeah, I mean, it is actually just quick large stone, unfortunately. It's really nasty, actually, because I have to wait till post Talos now to get an upgrade. Large stone is bad. Ah, dang, that's unfortunate. Do I take this money? No, I'm not spending it, right? What am I doing? Spending money on the non-existent ring here? I'm already way ahead on cash because of, you know... I basically made up for not having boons on ring one by hitting Tycoon there. So we're also still fine because of that conscription. So we just move on. Sure, I will take the unit draft. This is good. Give me something strong, please. Let's making of a morsel for the Ember Drain. What do we get here? Oh, Husk Hermit is just way better than Crucible Warden here. I'll take a Plink, sure. We're going to feed upstairs. I'm not even going to respect downstairs. Yeah, I'm not worried about my mans here. Here, have a Train Steward, Train Steward. I'm not trying to do anything fancy, so we're just going to ping out nonsense here. Sure, sure. Fine. Cool. I can now do Rain Steward Fledgling Imp and then do four damage shield here. Excellent. Making of a morsel will aim the plink. Good, good. I will sack the Rubble Morsel in exchange for, you know, my damage shield here. We definitely crush here. Yeah, we're super fine. Good. Thank you, Conscription Notice. Extremely cool. Doesn't matter. We're just going to plink this dude. I'm not even going to ascend. It's fine. Sure. We're fine. Crunches. Crunches. Good stuff. Good stuff. Am I taking morsels? I already have making of a morsel. Grabbing another won't matter. Perils, if I had this perils one floor earlier, I might have gone to the magic shop, but I think I will still check it out, right? Sure, why not? What? Let's think for a minute. What magic shop am I realistically seeing here? Probably ring five. Probably ring six. Okay, we have some good magic shops. Let's let's grab it. You never know. Imp in a box. Eh, vent. 
Event gives me good plus 30 targets. Problem is the holdover competes with the perils, right? Eh, it's true. That's true. I don't yet know what I'm leaning into here. I could see a number of things. Obviously, Fledgling Imp could just tank. I don't need the quick. Hornbreak is pretty good, a better ping, but I don't need it with the torches. I do love me a Hornbreak, though. Imp in a box is probably really good. I can just immediately use it for Hell's Banners. I think it is Imp in a box. You can do some stupid stuff with this. Yeah, Horned Warrior. He has multi-strike, it turns out. Sure, let's go. Okay, I think the dupe is not it. I have nothing great right now, and I could take another Fledgling Imp, but our attack is going to be fine. So let's go right here. Yeah, I think so. I'm not going to do an Infusion here, although I might do Crucible Warden into Horned Warrior. It's pretty strong, actually. We'll see what we get out of this whole Horn Banner, yeah? Oh, Gurg's Goad. Snap, click. Horned Warrior is now officially disgusting. Huh. Okay, think. Alpha Fiend. No, it's not Alpha Fiend today. He's slow. Why would I click Alpha Fiend? I have better scalers in Primordium. But Railbeater? Gurg's Goad Railbeater is pretty disgusting. And this is also one of the very few units I actually think can genuinely take a Horned Warrior infusion. You know, can't I just do... I mean, isn't the Crucible Warden infusion into Horned Warrior just excellent, though? It's better than Railbeater's. Huh. And I would not have to worry about... Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to do this. He hits three times, then we put an Imp in front or something. It's fine. I don't need Railbeater. I think you could take Railbeater here if you hadn't seen this Horde Warrior, but we're chilling, right? I, and I already have the Crucible Warden, which is what leans me strongly away from Railbeater, because there's an opportunity cost for drafting here. It means I have to remove this Crucible Warden elsewhere. But the Warden is a fine infusion for Horned Warrior. That's 10 HP, which alone wouldn't be impressive, but damage shield 5 is pretty huge. It guarantees he lives in the worst case against Patient, no matter what. Five free rounds against the Divinity, that's also great. And he also gets 10 attack, why not? So I'm going to skip this. I will take my infusion now, because I think this adds a lot for me to do it. Yeah, honestly, I think it adds a ton. I didn't take the vent, which I think is still correct, because I think that imp in a box is going to do me well. And I'm going to go and look at the caverns. Verdict is... Oh, uh, Heartstone is pretty good. Am I healing anyone? Where's my lifesteal at? Any of those? Hmm. It does mean... Oh, but... I was going to say, it does mean that I can't use lifesteal morsels, but I could also just put 10 health into Primordium, which is disgusting, so... Yeah, this is a petrified heart run, for sure. Look at that Primordium. Ooh, buddy. That also helps offset the only the fact that I took a plus 10 into Horned Warrior. He's looking solid here. Sweet, let's move on. Good pickups, all things considered. Feeling good about this run so far. And, yeah, here's Imp in a box. See what we hit. Sure, here's a Pyre Chomper somewhere. Queen Zimpling, actually legit. We love to see it. I could just put the train steward down. We kill a man. That's pretty good. And then, sure, Primordium. Horned Warrior is just better than Shattered Shell here, but Shatter Shell can chill downstairs and get it, right? Yeah, sure, let's go. That seems fine. We do Making of a Morsel. Let's plan around the stupid... What is it? Hell's Banners here, yeah? No space up top. I don't want to plink. I, will, I mean, I may as well shoot that dude. Here, I'll do six more damage to the boss. Why not? Fine. We are very much winning this combat. Shattered Shell is kind of 1v1-ing in a lot of ways. Which is cool. Seems good. 
Upstairs, my man is doing how much damage again, actually? Hmm, that's a very large number. I will do Train Steward, which means we swing downstairs. I can now do Fledgling Imp upstairs in front to tank and then take five more damage shield, guaranteeing victory here. Shattered Shell is cruising downstairs. I don't know. I could, I could just double ascend him. Hell yeah, brother. Get in there. <laughs> Love that. Seems good. Sure, why not? Take some more. I can even still get the making of a morsel up there. Feed my imp. <laughs> sure, why not? I'll torch. I'll respect. We'll torch. I, I'm, I'm definitely winning. Why am I doing all this work? My other cards are unfortunately really bad. Once you get to torches plus plinks, there's really not much to add to your run. But if you could have ascended that man, oh no, it's fine. It didn't matter. We had the X. We're very strong right now. Tr Transcend Imp. Snap click. <laughs> I mean, what did you want from me? It's Transcend Imp. Railbeater, Morsel Maker, Crucible Warden. Uh, the fine units here, right? Railbeater again, strong. Morsel Maker, an okay infusion, but we don't need this nonsense. We are set. And now I vaguely get to think about this. The one nice thing about Transcend Dip is a guaranteed endless if I need to take it, which is pretty cool. I can get Rage Scaling in my run now. I'm going to take Draw. This might be draw space and then rely on some mechanism to proc Hell's Banners consistently. I'm going to attempt to upgrade my Horned Warrior now at long last. I would take a quick here, right? Yeah, I would take a quick if they gave it to me. Maybe multi-strike, I'll take that too. I don't need a plus 25. We're going to remove train stewards here. They're actually not bad. What if I cut a plink? Yeah. Yeah. Train stewards are okay because they proc the Hell's Banners, right? Demon Fiend, look at the lad. 50 times 2. Where's my sketches run now? Skip, oh no. I misclicked. There's a serious argument for Stalwart Snack now that I have the Petrified Heart. That is a lot of HP, right? But I would rather get him out of the floor quickly. So I think it's just aggressive edible now. Yeah, I might take a superfood pivot. I'm going to grab this multi-strike because hitting four times is better than hitting two times. Why not? I will re-roll. Look for an endless. Large stone. That's unfortunate. Not taking a plus 25 here. This means we get to look a little more. I will still now take... Now that I've seen Gurg's Goat, I'll take a quick, right? Yeah. I saw Quick earlier. I didn't take it. Wait, I didn't have Horned Warrior at that point. Yeah, never mind. It wouldn't have mattered. Fine. Cool. I could remove a card. Do I want to? Magic Shop, Hellvent. Magic Shop, I suppose, is the take here. Right? Maybe see a holdover. It's not bad to see a holdover. I would take a double stack, potentially. I definitely want to go to Steel Shops. I can take Endless and Quick comfortably. So we're going to tunnel those pretty hard. Because there's two good hits, it's worth it statistically to check it out. Taking a removal here is pretty good. It's a good choice, honestly. Torches are stronger at this point than Plinks, I believe. And I'm okay with Train Stewards because they activate Hell's Banners. I cut one, but I'll cut, I cut more later. It's fine. We're going to cut a Plink. Getting rid of those. You see my bad turns are just I draw only plinks and torches. And vague considerations for some things. Intrinsic on Prismal Dust is pretty dope. A lot of reasons for this, obviously. Getting that on patient, pretty strong. It's also hard improves my divinity situation. I think it has got to be this intrinsic. I'm going to take it now. I have later temples for imp infusions, depending on if I see an endless or not. If I see endless, by the way, it's going to be 
fledgling imp into transcend imp for some just disgusting scaling, right? It's minus two is not valuable enough. You could do this in Prismal Dust, but it's really just like plus two damage shield. I'd rather save it for, you know, double stack or something. Well, not, we're not doing an infusion here. We're chilling. 50 is a lot more than I'd like, but it's fine. I would have been happier with 40, but we're strong. Yeah, we can take this man, right? Not even worried about it. Let's go. Armor emblem. Sure, why not? We hit so many times. Cool. So here's the deal. We're going to do Primordium first. Animus of Will. I mean, you put this downstairs, it almost kills a guy, right? Respect. Respect. We do Crucible Warden now. What if I give her the perils of production? She kill 19 by 3 is 38. Um, and then 57. I mean, yeah, we kill if I do that. I'd rather just take 5 Prismal Dust right here, though. Although this gives me more. What does that make my next turn look like? Two Ember Drain, one Ember Drain. I mean, I don't have a turn next turn. So instead, I'm just going to take five Prismal Dust and we'll move on. Sure. Good job, Animus. You did it. Yeah, this run, this turn would have looked much worse if I hadn't done that. I get the, mi the Miner and the Train Steward here. We're crunching. Yeah, we're crunching this floor. I don't even need to torch here, right? Maybe I kill this man. I might as well try. Save myself a damage shield or something. Cool. So I'm going to making of a morsel. We are going to fledgling imp upstairs. This is big value. It dies, saving all the damage shield and also scales my floor, which is great news. Yeah, sure. We'll. Sure. Here's a miner downstairs, I suppose. I guess I could have put that in front, huh? Yeah, true. Whatever. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're fine. Thank you, Imp. Seems reasonable. Here comes Imp in a box. Putting a Molting Imp in front is pretty good, although I definitely want to play this Transcend Imp upstairs. So what am I doing? It's what? Imp, Imp. 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 Tia. We like the Tia. I play out this train steward, which I don't mean. I mean, he hits for 400 damage. We're fine. Right? I can ascend this dude out of the way. He's just a zero HP body. A zero damage body, rather. Seems good. Sure. Let's go. She, she killed a dude. I love that. I will. Rain Steward, which is perfect because he swings and kills himself on spikes here, which is great. I could double ascend the Animus again. I mean, I may as well, right? There's no reason not to just take free 39 here. We have a ton of HP in front, so we're okay. Meh, fine. You're not wrong. Morsel. This morsel in front full tanks this boss, which is excellent. Sure, we'll we'll work. We'll respect the higher light dude. He scares me. I'll take double miners here for sure. Sadly, no. Yeah, sadly, no ascend or I would pop this dude up. We get this, right? Yeah, we take this. Oof, scary though, right? Yeah, two rounds, so four hits. We had plenty of damage shield. Cool. No damage taken, got the trial. Love to see it. Feast is... I don't think so. Am I going to do Ember Forge? No. Excavation Eruption. Too random. Skip. Important work? Yeah. This has all the makings of being a disgusting imp run somewhere along the line, too. Magic shop right now, I believe. Yes, we'll do it. Give me a holdover. Yeah, buddy. Oh, suddenly holdover important work is now a consideration. Take the horde. Winged technology. 
Morsel tanks, huh? Advanced prototype, a little late. I mean, I will take the winged technology because you can now keep the making of a morsels alive, yeah? Decent, we'll take it. Cavern says, I'll build a card, sure. Ooh, sap, huh? You could do holdover sap on this thing, too. I mean, I should probably grab this anyway. It's good. It's better than frostbite and spikes. Okay, sap damage is a strong take. Card draw or space? I was hoping for money, admittedly. Card draw is just excellent, though. I think it's card draw. I don't need the space for anything, right? Yeah, so we'll do card draw, and then you look at this thing. This is a disgusting card, yeah? Put a minus one in that, and this thing's wildly overpowered. You can just spell chain it, too, and apply six days. Or six sap, rather. Yeah, of course I take that card. Unreal. Good. Now, the holdover. Vague considerations. Holdover on this sap is pretty good, right? This actually overwhelms patient eventually, and will also do the same to the divinity. Good. I think we can do some disgusting imp nonsense, though. Hmm. When you think about it, I have Endless in the bag with the... Where is he? Transcend Imp. I'm guaranteed to see an Endless. Okay? Minus one is going in old magic, by the way. You can't stop me. It's either going to be a spell chain candidate or something else. Okay, what is this plus 10 doing now? Ugh, I don't really want to spend money on this. I'd rather just remove torches. Hold over. Don't re-roll this. Let me think. Perils. Good. Slow, but good. Slow compared to fledgling imp, right? But still solid. Hold over important work is useless right now. Becomes useful next floor. Because I see a steel shop, could see the endless. This is probably when I'm making that call, right? Whether it be self-infused, the fledgling imp, or whether it be transcend imp in the fledgling imp. Because if I hold over important work, I guarantee two, th two things. You guarantee Hell's Banners every turn, because you play two imps every turn. You also skip out on Ember Drain every turn. You have a chump blocker every turn. Sounds good, right? I can't really think of a bad thing there. So, nice. I don't think it's perils here. I actually think you could, you should remove perils with this because we have the imp run online, right? I have a guaranteed imp run. So we go all in on important work here. I don't buy the plus 10. I reroll this. Permafrost? What would I permafrost here? Nothing? Eh, skip it. All right, cool. No 20 consume, sad, would have loved those. Take the minus one though, right? Yeah, I'll make making of a morsel free, I suppose. There's no reason not to. It's good 25 gold to spend. I should maybe buy a removal. My cards kind of suck, right? I don't mind train stewards still. Planks are bad, still. Yeah, we'll just cut one more and we're fine. And we move on. We're under 80, so Stealth Boss doesn't scare me. Plus, I have a lot of answers to this in the form of Damage Shield and Chump Blockers. We're okay. Winged Technology converts them into pretty good delayers. And we just chill. Yeah, I'm not buying a Permafrost here. It's not important. We're good. Obviously, I think this makes me weak right now. Evan Seal, how strong am I? We ramp fast. Right? me think we do ramp fast yeah we're okay scary but i think we're okay yeah the first floor does not i'm not afraid of it at all Whoa, double fledgling imp oh buddy morsel miner primordium animus of will downstairs you put her middle horned warrior of course what if I double fledgling imp here? And then we use these to tank some rounds. They actually straight up clear these. The five damage shield is value though, right? Hmm. 
save these imps for later, I think. Right? I could just torch one. It's worth it. Torch one. I'll take four damage shield. Sure. Okay. Neat. I'm going to play Fledgling Imp. No Tia yet. We're going to Fledgling Imp. Yes, I will important work that out. Gives me perils, huh? I'll plink middle. Maybe I hit. Yo, we hit. We hit. I do want her to die here. Yeah, here's a magma morsel upstairs. I'm going to ascend the tank out of the way because he's non-threatening. And that opens up the bottom floor. And mid floor does not matter. We save transcend him. Good. Cool. Making of a morsel is huge upstairs. Just face tanks this. Excellent. And we just torch to save HP. Cool. We're good. We got it. I... Interesting. I'm going to plink middle because I might hit. I didn't hit. It's fine. All right. In that case, I think it's train steward upstairs to face tank these waves. We put a train steward middle. Sure, he dies, but we're going to torch the back one, torch the middle one. And I will take an engine upgrade here. We're going to do enough damage is the thing. I just shoot a dude, right? It's just so worth it to just shoot a dude. Incredible, yeah. And... Fine, I just chill. Maybe I can tank a hit with an imp. I have nine damage shield still, so we're A-OK. -okay. I'll put the train steward downstairs. It might tank a weight, like a turn or something. Right. Making of a morsel. Excellent. Play it in front here. Good. The T uh, is acceptable. I think I'm just going to double ping, actually. We do the perils. Ping, ping. And we chill. Sure. We definitely win. Not concerned at all. Yeah, I mean, it's making of a morsel here. And then it's Fledgling Imp, Fledgling Imp, Torch, Torch. Don't click the important work here. Easy. Great. In fact, we gain HP here. Cool. No damage taken, and we get Mind Jacks. I'll click it. This could be important. Ember Forge, Crucible Extension, Gem Trove. I don't think so. Gem Trove isn't bad, obviously. I could potentially play it. I mean, I can play it. I have every turn Hell's Banners, so no worries. It's a good sync for minus ones as well. I'm not really using them elsewhere. You know, fine. Gem Trove is good here. Don't give it crap. It's good. Oh, but I could have just clicked Inferno instead. Am I going to click Inferno? Yes, see Inferno. Click Inferno. Them's the rules. I go right here because I do wish for an endless. It will be my decision maker. I'll also take a quick here for sure. Large stone is terrible. I don't need another plus 25. I'll take quick. Yeah, okay. Quick is fine. Not ideal. That's okay. I will buy the minus two into Inferno. Good card is good. And it's, we're just committing to the Tia infusion here. I, I, I'm not going to risk it. We're just, this is an important pickup here for this run. So we're just going to do it. 105, we're fine now. And I think we can go to magic shops. Maybe I save all my cash, hopefully hit up this trinket shop for something. 250, I can get a, I can get a relic, right? Yeah, relic and removals. Yeah, let's go. We'll do that because I don't need the steel shop. And then I might genuinely go to the magic shop on eight instead of 
the removal dupe. Because what is my dupe, right? Old magic. Maybe if they show me a spell chain, right? That would be pretty good. Yeah, we move on. We're fine here. Cool. Good. I think we're in great shape. I just took the contingency pick and it's fine. This is what is this? Incant? I don't love Incant, but it's okay. We do Primordium. Here, get it, Lady of the House. Sure. Incoming Horned Warrior. Good. I'm just going to shoot this dude in the back. Why not? Well, I will play the engine upgrade. I'm going to ruin this torch by giving myself four Prismal Dust value here. Oh no, my torch. That's fine. Get it, lady. Making of a morsel. We're playing it. Crane Steward can just kind of... Sure, bud. Get it. Why not? We will torch a dude. Seems okay. And you might as well ascend to the boss up again, right? Because he may as well just take 200 damage. And I'll hit him with that plank. Seems good to me, right? Sure. I'll take any free damage. No reason not to. Lady's gonna burn out. Doesn't really matter. Oh no, she died. Anyway, here's Fledgling Imp. In Trin, important work. The quick means I don't get slapped here, though, which is an important consideration, but it's fine. I will still play Bludgling Imp in the middle here. No reason not to. And then we'll just torch the back dude. I don't need to worry about my kills and where they are. Yeah. Yeah, so here we do Making of a Morsel. Put it in front. I will click the important work, which is just Fledgling Imp again. And then I will take the Gem Trove here. Sure, here's another Morsel Miner. Why not? Value or something. We're very fine. The Rage Scaling helps a lot. Okay, I do the important work upstairs. Sure, get it, Welder Helper, I suppose. I mean, I probably should put this upstairs, right? It's not bad. I mean, I'm gonna Inferno, what, mid floor? Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna Inferno bottom floor, actually. Fine, we'll play the weight of contrition. I don't care about the torches. Yeah, so truly what I should do is just... Yeah, we just do Fledgling Imp. Welder Helper here. I just ignore the important works. Although I guess I can play these out. Well, ah, whatever. Sure, we'll shoot a man. And then I important work Mr. Endless. Oh no, Incant. Doesn't matter. And here's 490 damage. Honestly, pretty decent. Shoot the boss. Fine. You take a important work here. I mean, we may as well fledgling imp nonsense, yeah? Ow, oh, plink, get it, bud. Cool, we're fine. I'm not worried about this run. At this point, we've already done a bunch of damage to the boss. It's okay. Important work. We just keep playing this endless dude, and eventually, in Relentless, we put him in front. Oh, right. We actually... Yeah, here we go. You do Making of a Morsel. You play at bottom. And then we, we give... We just torch something randomly. It doesn't matter. Seems good. And now I ascend the boss. Yeah, I don't care about these cards. You ascend the boss because it's 570 damage. Then we ascend the miner because why not? Seems good. 
He's very dead, by the way. He has extremely died, is I think the right terminology. We plink. Ah. Transcend him, get him. I'm gonna ascend this morsel because he might get out alive, which would be extremely funny. I'm gonna save you, bud. Oh no, he doesn't make it. It's a shame. I'm gonna inferno him. You tried, bud. Imp. Imp. Door. He's very dead. I think he's one turned, actually. Yeah. Bonk. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, cool. Feeling good about that. Trample Stone has got to be the hit, right? Although Spike does have a payout, but it's got to be Trample Stone. It's just Overflow optimize my damage. It's not Ember. I don't think it's Space either. Just draw me more cards, right? Yeah, draw me around to my good stuff faster. Cool. We're going after the Trinket Shop here because I can re-roll and afford something, which is fun. Pyrewall, Improved Firebox, Tempered Talisman. Yeah, they're fine, right? They're fine. I still don't feel bad about having these train stewards. They activate Hell's Banners. So I think we're going to cut torches now. Yeah, fair. Will I take superfood? Probably, right? I can... Then I can put these... Prismal Dust into Primordium? Yeah, I, I mean, of course I do this. Horde says, ooh, Sinner Self. Scorching Restraints actually just immediately passes on Rage here, which is value. Sinner Self? Meh. Take the Restraints. I'm going to reroll this shop. Lightstone Casing? I don't love that. Unbroken Horn? Don't talk to me about commemorative spike. I don't want to talk about commemorative spike. You can't make me. It's not terrible, but I don't love it. Well, I don't know. What do you want me to do with the lightstone casing? Minus one holdover inferno. I, again, I don't really care that much. Unbroken Horn is potentially really good, but I'm going to be playing things right away to get value out of Yawn Primordium. I don't think it's going to matter, and I have no big payouts for this. I think we just accept that these were not hits and we move on. I'm not going to take the money. Yeah, I'm going to the right. I'm hopefully going to be able to get this trial. We should be good. Yeah, all right, fair enough. We move on. A fine set of pickups. Even in the case of missing at that shop, we get the removals and scorching restraints. Heaven Seal on Winged Horde is... I have Trample. We're okay. We're very fast, which is probably the big perk here. Also, turn one Inferno is very nice to speed us up. Sure, I have a Pyre Chomper... Making of a morsel upstairs is correct. Then Primordium. Husk Hermit. If I can protect him, he actually clocks a lot here. Put down the warrior. I will put the train steward in. You might as well. It keeps the Hermit alive. And then we take six damage shield into my superfood lad, which is really, really good. Hell yeah, Husk Hermit. And now, if you can just keep Husk Hermit alive, you're chilling. Right? So, what am I doing? I can play the imp and then shoot the imp with my own old magic. It's actually very good to do this. You know, we take these, right? There's no reason to put the trample in the back here. I'm not spreading it around. We'll just put it in the front. Bottom floor looking bad, but we have ramped. I can actually get a plank here. I don't want to, though. Where am I putting this morsel? One, two, three. Well. 
He swings, right? Hold up. Yeah, he at least kills a man. Sure. I'll take it. He kills a dude and lives. Cool. Anyway, here's Train Steward. Well, he he does it. Husk Hermit is a trooper. Amazing. I do want to get Fledgling Imp upstairs for sure. Every little bit here matters a ton. And you may as well play Gem Trove here. And Morsel, Morsel does it, right? Wow, yeah, true. And I can do Magma Morsel. Uh, I mean, I'm just feeding here, but it's fine. I was gonna send him, but I wasn't really thinking. It's fine. It's cool. We have struck gold with Imp. Let's see, we do a ton of damage here. We may as well put the imp in front. He's not dying because reasons. Oh, snap. Impling, let's go. Impling, hell yes, brother. This unreal how good this Husk Hermit has been. This conscription notice has completely defined the run in so many ways. Unbelievable. I mean, I am just gonna, even though I could shoot him down, I'm just gonna play the important work, it's fine. Every little bit matters. And then he finally dies, but we just inferno the floor. You did your work. You did your work, bud. Good job. Well played. Cool, great news. We important work the lad, we play the lad. I then shoot the lad. And then I play a bunch of making of a morsels here. We have 25 damage shield. Again, we are chilling. So now I can do transcend him, blow him up. Transcend him. I inferno the boss here. I guess I probably should have done this in a different order. I don't need to play this. Oh, you know what? I'll give my man some HP. Here, have some stats. You deserve it. Cool, we do important work. Fledgling Imp, we shoot the Imp, we play the making of a morsel, we then play the Gem Trove, which has proved itself quite effective. And then we excavator and ascend this lad, and we get it all. Cool, and then we're obviously fine. Great, two rounds, seems good. Got the money, no worries. Kindle? 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 You know what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking... I'm thinking Kindle Intrinsic, which lets you do a disgusting Prismal Dust on turn one. There's no other payout, and I'm always playing the Prismal Dust on turn one to lean into Superfood Primordium. And if they show me an intrinsic, I don't have to take it, right? I'm at 105 shards. I'm actually okay. So in reality, we just skip. It's fine. Take my money and walk. Oh my god, another transcend imp. <laughs> I mean, when in Rome, there was an impish scholar there too, by the way, but I don't care. It's fine. Get the Prismal Dust back, get the Trample Stone back. We're going to the right. I, I need more Magic Shop upgrades. I could find an Endless, right? But it's okay. I just don't care. We're chilling. Money, health, Trinket Shop says. Resonant Shard, pretty good. Collection of Tails, pretty decent. Spell Chain, out of the gate. Whoa. All right. Spell Chain, important work. Let's go. Let's go. Another Intrinsic, yeah? You got me. You did it. You did it. Oh, a 20 consume at long last. Sure. You know what? What do I value more, the plink or the torch? Honestly, the torch? I could aim this, which I think is pretty good. 
Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take a minus one into something. Probably... I'm going to double stack that Prismal Dust. Yeah, bud? Yeah, we're going to have enough Ember here. No worries. Even with the minus one, it'll be fine. It's the payout. Think about the math here, right? If you have one Ember, this is obviously worse. If you have two Ember, it breaks even, right? Because it's two times one as opposed to one times two. If you have three Ember, this becomes four, whereas normally you get three. So as long as I play this at three Ember or more, this is a gain of a considerable amount of damage shield. Which I think always happens because I have a free champion and I'm playing one Ember of... Horned Warrior, and otherwise we're fine. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Good. I should put a minus one into Gem Trove, make it slightly more playable. I'll spin this. Holdover is... very funny. I mean, Holdover Inferno just wins the run, actually. Like, unironically, this is GG's. Alright, cool. <laughs> I didn't need that, but we'll take it. I just buy removals now. Good grief. This run is silly. You could do a lot of cool stuff with intrinsic. I actually don't mind the intrinsic sap, but again, I have so much damage shield out of the gate. I also don't care. Here's the deal. You actually put the imp in a box in intrinsic because you might see a pyre chomper and then your prismal dust becomes even more disgusting. There's a lot of gains for this. Sure. We'll go to 130 here. I'm okay with that. I'm going to buy Resonant Shard because hell yes. Collection of Tails. The big win here is the Scorching Restraints doesn't go away on Primordium. Which is an additional like six rage, I believe, because it would tick down three times. So you have three, two, one, which is six. But instead I get three, 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 which is nine. And it spreads, so it's nine times. No. No. Math is hard. I mean, it's not It's not Collection of Tales, actually. Never mind. It's not a bad pick, but I don't need to do that. I think the removals are going to be more valuable, yeah? Yeah, okay. I've convinced myself. We're going to burn out these planks. They have long since served their purpose. Goodbye, plank. And then plank two, yeah. Right? Vaguely consider other options. Yeah, sure. Get rid of all the planks. Again, Train Steward gets his stamp on this run. He kind of he already has it. You know he does, but he gets his stamp on this run because he activates Hell's Banners, right? It's it's actually genuinely better than leaving in planks, which are truly dead cards. This was a very good lineup of upgrades. Cool. Yeah, great. 130 out of 100. This is a train of thought, right? Yes, okay, I didn't just screw up my entire run. Yeah, all right, train of thought. Whew. Well, no worries. Cool. I was about to be worried that maybe I threw my win streak by... Well, not my win streak, but, you know, the the train wreck win streak. It's fine. We'll go on. 130 out of 100? Yeah, we're good. I don't think there's a world we can lose because of the intrinsics. This Prismal Dust is going to destroy Patient. And then Inferno is just even stronger. Yeah, so... This is disgusting. You do making of a morsel. You drop him upstairs. We will play Primordium next. Shattered Shell will bait. I play Perils into the morsel. We get the Warden down. We play Imp in a box. Oh my goodness. We do Pyre Chomper. And I play the Transcendent downstairs just so it dies, even though it rallies. And then we take, excuse me, 18 damage shield into Primordium for a casual 54 damage shield. Yeah, okay, me too. Me too, bud. Yeah, I'll shoot this man. We face tank him with Fledgling Imp. Seems good to me. You know? Seems reasonable. Sure. Fine. Love it. Excellent. 
Oh no, I gave him trample. I'm so bad at the video game. Cool, so I'm gonna play Gem Trove. I'm gonna play the Imp. I'm going to important work the Imp. I'm gonna play the Imp. I'm going to important work the Imp. I'm gonna play the Imp now in the back. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot the Imp with this torch. Another reason for 20 consume torch instead of plank. Get him killed. We'll then take another jeweler here because why not? And then we'll put some jewelers middle. Maybe we keep him alive somehow. Nope, <laughs> it doesn't happen. I mean, of course it doesn't. We have the trample, but whatever. Goodbye, my lads. Goodbye, friends. Anyway, I just drafted Inferno, which is reasonable. It's minor, transcend imp. I don't care about any in like shards or incants or whatever here. It's fine. And then we get the Umbra Stone in, which casually cleaves over a thousand damage. I burn one train steward and I inferno middle. I could have done it in a different order, but I also just do not care. Yeah, sure, give me melee weakness. Whatever. Whatever, bud. Fledgling Imp, make sure it's important work. Good. Fledgling Imp, I will now inferno something. Sure, inferno middle, why not? Play the train steward. We got an important work. Fledgling Imp. I'm going to shoot the Fledgling Imp. I'm now going to take Gem Trove, which is even sillier. More damage shield. Let's go. Fine. Yeah, we, we do a lot of damage, it turns out. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Imp. Important work. Imp. Important work. And Imp. Good floor, good floor. We just inferno something at random. It really does not matter at this stage. Sure, I could have like ascended and done some cheeky inferno nonsense. I just don't care. Here, I'll send one man up, no worries. Look, I contributed. <laughs> amazing, truly amazing. Neat, all right, so here's fledgling imp, important work, fledgling imp, Important work. Bludgling Imp? Transcend Imp? Yeah, buddy! <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Inferno. Cool, I think I'm just gonna end turn. Right? Yeah, we're we're good. We're, we're we're very good. In fact, we're gonna ascend the boss here. Hey, look, we look. Who's surprised that we're winning? Hmm. Thank you, Transcendent. Very cool. And we just do the same thing to the Divinity because Divinity also doesn't stand any chance with how much damage shield we have. We're super chilling. In fact. Oh my god, this turn one. I, I sometimes forget that Imp in a Box has Intrinsic because you see it and I just get excited. This means that I definitely made the right choice. But also, hitting the important work on turn one? Pretty disgusting. Oh my god, double Pyre Chompers. Are you kidding me? What? I can play him upstairs, actually, because he dies to sweep. Incredible. Oh my god, look at that 12. I could even do a Transcend Imp for more. I'm going to save the Transcend Imp, okay? Trust me, it makes sense. Yeah, here, get him Animus of Speed. Incoming Crucible, friend. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm going to hold over this Imp nonsense here. I think it's correct to do so. I will just kill this guy. And it draws me something, it's no problem. I will use that trade to play engine upgrade, and then I'm going to drop 20 Prismal Dust into Primordium and prove that we once and for all win. That is a lot of Prismal Dust, it turns out. I and you just hit the Fledgling Imp. That's pretty good, too. Just hit. Run is disgusting. 
fledgling imp, and then we shoot the imp. Although I don't have to. You may as well. I want to shoot the imp so I can do the gem trove. And then we take attack stat here. We play some stuff in mid floor. We get a train steward kill downstairs. Here, I can even buff my animus of speed. She's doing something, right? Yeah, she's, she's trying. Maybe she'll live long enough to... I don't know. Nope. <laughs> nope. Anyway, here's transcend him. Important work. Transcend him. Important work. Transcend him. We'll put him in front because he dies. It doesn't matter. I'm going to play Inferno middle. And then I'm just going to Inferno middle. That seems reasonable. Cool. Primordium kills a man. You love to see it. I didn't. Ha I don't have the trample yet. It's at the bottom of the deck, but we're okay because Transcend Imp exists. Just play Transcend Imp a whole bunch, and we're fine. And then we Inferno Middle because that seems pretty decent. Oh, what you do is you ascend this dude, and then we Inferno Middle. Reasonable. I do want the imp to die, so don't sap the boss. Sure. We'll shoot him. Why not? Let's go. I am guaranteed to see the trample here, so we're fine. Not that I was worried anyway, but you know, every little bit helps. I have to be careful not to accidentally inferno my floor, because that would be very sad. Weight of Contrition. Incoming Trample Stone. I mean, I'm just gonna Inferno, right? It's fine. Let's do it. Yeah, cool. I'm doing like a thousand damage. We're fine, right? I'm not worried about this at all. Imp. Important work. Imp. And then you do perils, and then you important work. I guess I could have done it later. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Play the Weight of Contrition. I mean, we win next floor. Sure. Seems good. I could actually put... Here. Miner. Behold my morsel. Seems good. I mean, we're winning right now. No chance. Divinity. Yeah, good good game. Anyway, I'm going to make this run look sillier because I drew Transcend Imp. So we're going to do important work nonsense anyway. Because, I don't know, you can't stop me. I do what I want or something. Incoming Transcend Imp. Behold the power of Tia. <laughs> it just looks so cool when you do it. And then you Inferno your own floor. Nah, we're fine. Then we just Inferno mid floor for good measure. Because, I don't know, screw your Harvest Wave or something. Seems good. Bonk. I obviously didn't need to do any of that. But I just wanted to show you how commanding our victory was here. We had it super squared away. So... Good stuff. Heck yeah. Really happy with that run, too. Good old-fashioned Hellhorn with Primordium. With an Imp. Yeah, and so the real takeaway here, and I think the useful thing to learn from this run, despite the fact that it's really high scoring, we'll go to the run summary and talk it over. Uh, the big thing is, it's easy to look at Transcend Imp and really hyper fixate on oh man i need to be multiplying my scaling right it's it looks very sexy to say transcend imp infuse with fledgling imp and you're constantly getting more and more rage every time you play it you don't need that to win right it's something you might hold out for and hunt for a little more in a 200 shard run if you felt weak because that kind of scaling can be a distinguisher there but when you're just trying to win the run, this is more than enough. We're doing like 1,500, and then you play the one single Transcend Imp at the end, and it's fine. The scariest floor here was for sure Ring 5, because I walked in without knowing... Without an Endless on my Imp, basically. I had the Transcend Imp. I had not taken the Infusion yet. So... Yeah, and you could have done that infusion earlier, right? But I was holding out for one more steel shop. It was a steel shop I wanted to see anyway, because again, I could put quick on Horned Warrior, which was excellent, by the way. 
incredible. Crucible Warden's infusion, by the way, extremely good. It's like the best defensive infusion in the game, maybe. I actually think that's true. Damage Shield 5 on average represents like 50 life at least, even more at higher shards. And he also gets plus 10, plus 10. That's really good, actually, right? This is like, consider Husk Hermit's infusion of just plus 30, right? Or Railbeater's plus 30 armor. Those are really bad by comparison to Crucible Warden. Crucible Warden's defensive capabilities as an infusion are really good. You know, the Collector's is not bad either, but the problem with it is that when you have Multi-Strike, which you're aiming to get on basically every carry unit, right? You burn that mult that lifesteal way too quick, whereas you're always getting the value out of this Damage Shield, right? Damage Shield also has special value against things like Patient, right? Doing this into Patient is just mega disrespect. I just don't even care. I just walk in with five, right? We're good. That almost entirely on its own gets me to Relentless. And meanwhile, things like, you know, Prismal Dust are really good spells. This is just a card I snap click in this run because, I don't know, I'm fighting Patient and I have Primordium and I vaguely want to make sure Primordium lives against the Divinity too. And then if you see Superfood, you just, <laughs> just click it and you go, I don't know, is 60 damage shield enough? <laughs> that, oh my gosh, that imp in a box on the last combat. Did I really need double Pyre Chompers? Absolutely not, but... The game knew what I was looking for. Just make it look more ridiculous, please. Thank you. Love to see it. Train stewards get their stamp because Hell's Banners. Why not? They technically are consume cards, right? As long as... My threshold for when to remove or keep a train steward versus like a torch is really comes down to how annoying is the train steward to play? Sometimes the answer is extremely annoying. Consider Wormkin or Stygian runs where I need Incans or Inspires or I have space problems. Train Stewards are really annoying. But if you have Hell's Banners, they suddenly become a lot less annoying. The same is true if you have Forever Flame, right? You can Forever Flame and drop like they're free, right? At that point, they are basically one of the best starters because they just go away. Obviously, you don't want to draw them. They're not good, but they're not bad, right? because they have an inbuilt consume effect, essentially, because they remove themselves from your deck. So sometimes it's correct to leave them in. This is a question I get asked a lot. When do I, why do I constantly remove my train stewards when I could be removing spells? The answer is usually that things like 20 and consume exist, and some of those starting spells are genuinely good, like restores, right? You give that thing a minus one plus 10, reasonable. That's a reasonable card, okay? Uh, it's worth the investment. You're not going to do anything with a train steward. You give this thing a plus 25 and a plus 10, it's still terrible. It dies before it even swings. It does nothing. You do that maybe out of desperation. But anyway, I won't dwell on that. It is a good question that I get asked a lot, and that's kind of the answer of why I do this. Usually it is correct to remove train stewards first, but not today. Also, Petrified Heart. Who, buddy. Really good pickup on... Primordium runs. That just turned my aggressive edible situation into very good defense. So, all right, cool. I don't have much else to say. I could honestly ramble about a lot of things here, like Inferno is a good card, or why I picked Gem Trove, which is also really good here. But there are a lot of things here that were just solid pickups and help the run. So, yeah, cool. I think the big theme of this run is find ways to make your deck not suck, right? Because when I was drawing just torches and planks, this deck was bad, right? You were relying entirely on how front-loaded my whole situation was with Horned Warrior plus Primordium. And then I was just sitting back and going, I hope that's enough. Now, at the end of the day, I wanted my, my deck to be really solid. So I was drawing into things that actually were useful, like Inferno or Important Work or Transcend Imp or, you know, even any, any morsel generator, right? Because Winged Technology exists. Gem Trove because Primordium has superfood and also was just good anyway. Give my man Horned Warrior an extra HP, etc. So that's enough. I've said plenty here. Cool. That brings us up to 125 on the series. You'll love to see it. So yeah, hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Really appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks. Hiya!